Air Max 2000, oh, sorry, Nike Air Max 270, 2000. Um, these are one of my favorite kind of new newer models that have come out at the moment. I know I complain a lot on here sometimes about the prevalence of retro, especially from um, Nike. They love to kind of, you know, bang out the retros and not really make any newer, sh newer models or newer shapes. But I like the fact that this shoe kind of takes inspiration from some of the early 90s kind of you know shoes that we all know and love from nike but also updates into a modern looking kind of shoe um again really nice model i love the paneling on the upper i love the some the kind of translucent sort of sole sorry the translucent upper here on the at the top i'm not sure if that's mesh or if that's flyer wire looks beautiful i love the fact that most of the paneling now on nike shoes has been is it heat pressed or whatever so there's, it's seamless there's no stitching on it for the most part i love that side of it so real minimal stitching on the upper most of the panels have been kind of glued together or heat pressed together um, i love this big fat bubble at the bottom as well um, 270 degrees if i was being nitpicky i'd say i'd want it to be a little bit more bulbous but i think I think the reason why they don't do it is um, probably a similar to why you don't see Air Max 95s with the... Do you know those code.jp Air Max 95s? Right? Let me see if I can find a picture of them, right? But there's a code.jp Air Max 95, right? Um, let me see if I can find them. Air Max 95 code JP. Hopefully someone's got a pair of them. You'll see how fat the bubbles are from back in the day. They don't make them as fat anymore. I'm pretty sure there was some, something to do with the PU or whatever, maybe um let's do jp the old school ones had a really fat bubble i'm not sure if i can find them i think that's the one here but they don't really show them too often let's do vintage yeah, so as you can see, th th this is this is even a woman's one, right? So I'll get the shoe up here. So as you can see with this um, kids um, Air Max 95, it's usually a smaller size. It doesn't have the air bubble at the front. But back in the day, the air bubble on the Air Max 95 used to bulge out as much as that. Back in the day, like really fat, so it'd protrude on the outside. This is one of my pet peeves when it comes to the Vapor Max. When you look down on it, because the bubble doesn't pop out it kind of um, tapers in so it kind of looks like you're not really walking on anything it reminds you of the front it reminds you of the back of like a nike shock the, i like it the shocks kind of like tampered out a little bit or chamfered out so they're a bit like that like a triangle from the back so that you can see them as you're walking down sort of similar to like a triple s or you know the alexander mcqueen kind of st stan smith it kind of pops out to the side a little bit so you can see that um so i'd prefer I'd, I'd like it if the bubble on the back of this 95 from here was maybe the same sort of bulbous nature as this on the a27 but again that's just nitpicking i think overall it's a really nice color teal green aqua green blue very minty very fresh um yeah it's a very very nice model if anything maybe the pull tab i'll change the color of the pull tab it shouldn't be black maybe that should be another brighter color maybe a neon green or something but yeah really nice colorway mesh on the inside so for those guys that like to have funky socks during the summer this will be a good shoe during the summer actually wearing a pair of shorts um, you can get them all oh, nice really black and teal colorway here as well it looks really really nice reminds you of a um reminds me of a air rift from back in the day that kind of sort of colorway looks really cool too this aqua colorway looks really nice as well yeah it's a really nice model overall i think again for all the for for the amount of complaints i have about retros um they've done a really cool job with these air max 27s on um, sorry air max 270s they're out september 12th so a long time oh really they're gonna be they're not even gonna be out in time for summer that doesn't make much sense, is it? These are perfect shoes for summer. Why aren't they out for now? That's a bit of a... They dropped the ball on that one. These are perfect shoes for summer. These will sell really well if it's summertime. Surprised they're not bringing them out now. Okay, well, I guess you're going to have to dead stock them until next summer. Or if you're in the States, you'll probably have a good summer regardless. So, yeah, they're going to be out September 12th. The Hyper Jade and Blue Lagoon. Oh, sorry, no, so there you go. Hyper Jade and Blue Lagoon drop July 18th. Okay, I'm about to say. It makes more sense. With the Electro Green, the one that's kind of black and yellow, dropping September 5th. And uh, but that's why this is September 12th. Though. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, they're coming out um, July 18th. So, you only got to wait another month and you can be able to cop them. Really nice shoe there. Air Max 270 um, in free seasonal colorways. Check those out if you're that way inclined. Um, next on the list here, we have the Pata and Jordan F pattern and jordan sevens I, I think i mentioned these previously but this is another colorway that came out as well which looks really cool i wasn't very understanding about the promotional items with this a little please can't go by with this item with this pair of shoes i remember they were seeing a lookbook from pattern with neymar in it i don't know what that connection is maybe they're just friends 
um, the pack crew know Neymar, whatever. Um, I'm not too sure where that connection came from, but you know, it's Nike. It could come from anywhere. But um, I like this. I think I prefer this colorway to the the one that's meant to be coming out. I'm not sure if this is a friends and family colorway. Let me just say here, back in May, we saw Jordan Seven Pat to calibrate on a creamy beige alternative, courtesy of Hanzu Ying. We got a preview of an upcoming release dubbed the um, dubbed the what? The Issy, whatever that called. The upper is made of light blue leather. Is that light blue? A red Jumpman logo, Team Pata hits back. Although official release date has yet to be announced, the Pata Jordan 7 expected to drop this month on the website too for $200. Okay, yeah, I quite like this colorway, man. I think I prefer it to the one that we see now. Um, the one that's going to come out is sort of like a burgundy browny sort of colorway. Again, I would prefer it without the Pata logo on the midsole, but again, I understand what Pata are doing, you know. They have to appeal to the kids. The kids love what they do. So if they want, if the kids want, um, if the kids want, a, if the kids want um, text on their midsole, they get text on their midsole. And for the most part, the upper looks pretty clean. I quite like them, man. Jordan 7s are probably one of the most underrated uh, Jordans, really, I think, in an oh, entire collection. People don't wear them enough. I remember my friend Marcus used to, wear these really really well drop them amazing back in the day but people don't really drop these anymore but i really like the shoe man even the bot the sole looks really nice yeah i'm a, I'm a big fan of these jordan 7 the alternative color i'm not sure if they're gonna come out i'm not sure if this is like a a hong kong uh, mock-up or something or if they're legit or not but i actually prefer these to the ones that are coming out recently which is these right these ones are meant to come out um in the next couple of days or they're out already it's sort of like a brownie sort of colorway. So yeah, I prefer the previous one to this personally. In my opinion, I think the other ones are better. But again, it's for you guys to make up. But yeah, Pat Jordan 7s out very, very soon. Check those out at your local Jordan retailer.